So um, if you got a bit of grasp of how uh, the starting system, what the parts are and a bit how it works, let's talk a bit about diagnostics. Let's say that one day you go sit in your car, you're trying to start your car and it doesn't start. So obviously the first thing you want to start meaning it doesn't even crank. So the first thing obviously you want to make sure is that your battery power is enough. The battery is charged up. Let's say that you've checked it, your battery is passing the load test or you're giving it a jump start. So you got the good battery, we're putting a jump start on it. I still go, I press the button, nothing happens. I made sure my car is in park or neutral, but nothing is happening. The first thing that I would check is the checking the ignition switch is not the easiest thing. Okay, so the first thing I would check is I would go and check the fuse first. Okay, as I said, on your car the fuse won't look like this. On your car the fuse would be like this. So what you do is you take the alligator clip, you hook it up to the negative. Okay, on top of the fuse, I'll show you another example. I'm the only one using the camera. Okay, I, I got no help today. Uh, so you ground it. There are two prongs on top of the fuse. I'll show you a close-up of it too. So you touch one side, the light should be on. You touch the other side, the light should be on. Okay, if the light is on on both sides, okay, on the top here, if the light is on on both sides, the fuse is good. So that's the first thing you would check. Okay, let me show you on another example here. So I put this together for another demo. Uh, it's on our channel too, how to check fuses and basic electric, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have, I mean, you have to have some knowledge before you can go ahead and do stuff like this. So you make sure that your, the test light is grounded, okay? Always check the test light first, make sure the test light is working. Because sometimes the bulb is gone and we spend hours trying to figure out the, what the problem is, okay? So like I was saying, so you go to the fuse, the fuse will have two sides to it. Okay, you find, obviously you gotta go underneath the panel or you have to go uh, in a manual, you gotta have find uh, which fuse is controlling the starter. I'm just picking a random fuse, I'm just showing you how to check the fuse. Okay, so you touch one side, if the light is on, okay, so right there I'm touching one side, the metal piece on the top. You touch the other side, and the light is on if that's the starter fuse, which means the fuse is not the problem, okay? You, if you um, are checking the fuses and one side glows and the other side doesn't glow, and if this happens to be the, the starter fuse, that's the first thing I would do. I would go and change the, the fuse. Once you're sure that the fuse is good, so we check the fuse and make sure the power is on both sides, okay? Once you check the fuse, Okay, right here, once we check the fuse, fuse is what energizes the relay. So the relay gets the power from the fuse. So the next thing I would wanna check is the relay. Um, in this case, you can find out, like you can pull up the diagram if you wanna really diagnose it. You wanna pull up the diagram, you wanna find out which one is a feed in, which one is bringing the power, which one is taking the power out. So obviously you gotta check first which one is bringing the power in. Instead of doing all that, the easiest thing that you can do is, most of the cars will have multiple relays that are exactly the same. So in this case, you can see the relay, the relays are same. So what you need to do is you need to find a good known relay that's basically a working relay. So what you do is you go uh, see if the blower motor is working. And if it has a blower motor relay, you pull out the blower motor relay Obviously, you will find out all that information underneath the cover, okay? It'll tell you which one is, what relay is controlling what, okay? So you find a good known relay that's working relay. You know the system is working. You pull that out, you pull out the starter relay, switch them. And if it solves your problem, you know the relay is a problem. If it doesn't solve your problem, obviously relay is not the problem. So now we have to move to the next step. So we have gone from the fuse to the relay, we switched the relay, and it still didn't solve our problem. Now you can go to the neutral safety switch or we need to get to the starter first. So I prefer, I would go to the starter first, I would check the power 
from the battery I would check the power from the solenoid see if it's coming or not same thing I've hooked up my um, the test light to the ground and I'm going to check if there is power coming from the battery so remember this wire is coming straight from the battery it's coming to the starter so I touch here and I make sure that there is power here on the solenoid be careful when you're touching this you don't want to touch any other part of the metal because you don't want to ground it okay so be careful with it so remember this small wire here only gets power when you turn the key on to start position um, so if I press the button and uh, there is no power here that power is coming from the neutral safety switch okay that power is coming from the neutral safety switch so I need to go back but if I have power here and I have power on the small one when I crank the car or when I turn the key all the way to start and the starter still doesn't spin that means the starter is getting the feed in it's getting the feed from here it's getting the feed from here and it should run if it still doesn't spin replace the starter but if I touch on the small one and I have no power now we're going to start going back to our neutral safety switch obviously I have to disconnect stuff otherwise if I touch here and I press the button it will light up so let's try that okay. but the starter is spinning I'm just trying to uh, do a mock demo here so remember if there is power coming to the small one when you press the button and there is power coming to this big terminal and the starter still doesn't spin replace the starter so let's say that we during our diagnostics so we have checked we checked that we have power here we checked on the purple wire and we pressed the button and there was no power that tells us that there's nothing wrong with the starter the starter is not getting the second feed that it needs okay so in this case so if we follow our purple wire okay we will follow our purple wire the purple wire is uh, I got blue wire here but the purple wire goes from the solenoid straight to the neutral safety switch so this is the output this brings the power into the starter we call it output okay so we need to check if there is power here when we press the button so if I poke this wire and I press the button obviously there's nothing wrong with it right now if I press the button the, we will get power there so let's say that neutral safety switch is bad if the neutral safety switch is broken when I press this button there won't be any power here so now we know that the neutral safety switch is not sending anything out now we need to figure out if it's getting the power from the relay which is getting the power from the ignition switch so we still have another circuit to follow so what we do is we find we go to the diagrams you'll have to go to all data or whatever manual you use you have to find out the colors of the wire so in this case there is a pink wire that's coming straight from the ignition uh, not sorry not from the ignition from battery power okay so we check this wire and see if there is power so if there is power in this wire we know that there is nothing wrong with this circuit so we don't have to worry about the wire we don't have to follow this if there was no power here I would be following this wire right now okay the next is our yellow wire which is coming from the relay so I check here I poke this okay I check from the relay or you don't have to actually even do that you can take this off you can take the plug off I have all these staples that are now going to make life easier okay so I go to the yellow wire so there's yellow wire is going underneath right here so if I go to the yellow wire here and if I press the button and it lights so if it lights we know that the neutral safety switch is getting the power but it's not putting out the power if there was no power on the purple and we replace the neutral safety switch okay but when we check here when we check the yellow wire and we check and there is nothing happening here now we got to start following the ignition switch side of it which is rarely the case I'm not going to say that 
ignition switch never breaks down, but it's rarely the case. For now, this is where we'll leave. Okay, so remember the first thing you want to check is when you're diagnosed, when you're diagnosing, okay, the first thing you want to check is the fuse, the easiest thing. Check the fuse. If the fuse is good, go to the relay, replace it with a good known relay. If the relay is good, then you go to the starter and you go to the big terminal first. If there is power, good. If there is no power, check the power, see if the wire is broken or the battery terminals are bad or something is wrong on this side. So check that. But if there is power, touch the smaller, the solenoid side of it, the S side. Touch that and ask someone to crank the engine. And uh, if there is power here, so if you got power on both, replace the starter. If the, there is no power here, now you go back to the neutral safety switch. Okay, go to the neutral safety switch and uh, check the output first. If there is no output, check the input. 24 hour power and the one that comes from the relay. If there is input but there is no output, replace the, the neutral safety switch. So I hope that uh, this lesson does help you. Okay, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions. Uh, feel free to post any questions that you might have, right or wrong. I will try to answer those. Thank you very much and subscribe please.